To make the connection through to view connection server, just type in the address of the server. And I'll just accept the default certificate. The browser will check to see if you have the client installed. And we don't have the client installed, so what I'm going to do is just select the view client here, the 23 meg one. We have them set up for local mode. So local mode allows you to check out the desktop and use it offline. So um, at the moment what we'll be doing is just connecting through to it online. So we'll select the view client 64 bit and I'll click download. Internet Explorer, download the file. And I'm just going to run it from here. And run. Click next. Next, accept the license agreement, and we'll be selecting all of these. USB redirection, uh, we'll log in as the current user as I'm on the domain here. Click next. Okay, so our view connection server address is k885.bmlab.local. I'll click next here. Okay, you have the option here to set default option to log in as a current user. Um, I'm going to leave it unticked for here, so um, but feel free to tick it if you like. And I'll click next. And I'll have an icon on desktop and uh, also put in the start menu. And uh, I might untick the quick launch toolbar, I don't really want it on there. Uh, but desktop and start menu is fine for now. So I'll click next. And I'll install into default directory. I'll click install. Alright, let's click finish and we have to restart the computer. So I'm going to pause the video, I'll reboot my computer and come back. And we're back. So my server's rebooted now. Um, as you can see we've got the VMware View client placed on the desktop here. There's just a little icon. So to launch this I'm just going to double click on it and uh, gain some access into my virtual desktop. So as you can see it's pre-populated the connection server address. I'll, I'll leave this unticked for now, the login as current user and I'll just type it in so I can show you the steps. And in options, we can select the port, we can select, deselect SSL, uh, and we can auto connect at startup. So let's just click connect. All right, and I'll put my username, administrator, and my password. And the domain is selected here as VMLab. And I'll click login. So as you can see, our pool address here, which we created earlier, Windows 7 desktop. We have a little drop down menu here. If you're using PCOIP, you'll have an option here, or if you've turned on optioning in the settings, uh, you'll have the option to go through to PCOIP or RDP. Uh, because I'm forcing RDP, uh, I don't have the PCOIP server set up, uh, we'll be logging in only using RDP. And you can also select a, a full screen, you can span across monitors, um, small, large, or even custom size. So I'm just going to select this one and click connect. And now we've logged into our Windows 7 machine. So that concludes the tutorial on VMware View 4.6. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.